let's get into tonight's episode of If Loving You Is Wrong, Season 3, Episode 12, The Papers. Yes, honey. I'm going to say it again. I said it last episode. I don't think Travis is dead. I think everybody goes to his church and they covering it up. You cannot convince me otherwise. Because everybody in this neighborhood goes to this the man church. I think this police officer is like everybody else on um, the family payroll. I think they paying them. And I think they they done told the congregation something about we going to, you know, I just think he's alive and this man knows it. So I'm waiting to see. He trying to trick Kelly into saying that she killed him so they can put her in jail. And I know it's for the family. It's just a hot mess. The man, uh, so Lucian gets to talking to the man, and sure enough, the man says, you know, that, and, and Lucian gets to investigate, and he finds out the man, the man don't go to, um, Travis's daddy church, but his wife does. So that's why he in there pushing Kelly to try to, um, say that she did it and don't want her to get an attorney or what have you. See, they dirty. These some crook, uh, crooked people over here. At Calvary. I don't know what kind of cult this is over here at Calvary. That Travis daddy preaching at. I don't know what they doing. They got everybody convinced. They such a sweet family. wreaking havoc on people. Uh uh-uh, uh. They ain't nothing but the devil. But anyway. Brad is getting on my doggone nerves. I about wish Eddie would have carried him down there to the swamp. And fed him to the doggone alligators at this point. Because for him to listen to Random and not listen to Kelly at this point, we all know at this point that Randall lied way before Kelly going to lie. I mean, really? And he going to sit up there and ask Randall, did Alex come over there? He know that Randall going to say, yeah, she came over there. And it because th- that's what he want. You, Brad set that up for himself up for disappointment like do you think Randall wants y'all to be happy you think he gonna have Alex back and be like no she didn't come over here man why would you think that my friend like he gonna be on your side and honestly say she didn't come over there you talking about the same man that had cameras outside your house and what it get on my nerves even more that Marcy can lie to him and say whatever she wants to about Alex do whatever, but it's okay. Whatever. Marcy and Randall lie to Brad all the time, and he just jumped through hoops and whatever. And I wish Alex Alex would have told the truth that the doctor didn't fix the results. And that Randall really is not the father of that baby. She should have had Brad to do a DNA test. I still think that the reason her dad, that Alex's dad, didn't like black people so much is because her mama messed with somebody black. And I think that's why that baby came out black. But I think the dad, the dad really going to be Brad's. And I hope Marcy's baby be Randall's. That's, I'm at this point. Because when this show, when the whole thing situation first started, I was team Marcy. And I was happy for the woman being cheated on but now at this point i'm over it it's time to move on it ain't nothing healthy gonna come from it and i'm speaking as a woman scorned it's time to move on she need to go on it's time to get over it i think kelly has a uh So now Brad leaving Alex yet again. When he found out Marcy done lied about how Randall found out about the baby. And you know it's going to come out. Because some kind of way it's going to slip out that um, Larry is the one that told him. And that, well actually, Marcy the one that told Brad, told Randall. Because she called and asked Larry, did she tell him she was pregnant? And she was on the phone and Randall heard everything that she said because she thought she was talking to Larry. 
So actually, she the one told it, but she gonna sit up there and let Brad think it just so Brad will come home. But as soon as he find out, he gonna leave her and go go to button right back across town to Kelly. I mean, why not keep calling her Kelly to Alex? And Alex gonna take him back as always, same old, same old. But anyway, Lucian. <laughs> Ask Steven about host Baranza because it's obvious they done mess with each other. And you can tell they was going on. He peeped out how he pulled up on his little bike. And they was over there chit-chatting and hiding. And she was telling him, don't pull up. Don't be pulling up in front of my friends. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway. Then here come Eddie come running in. What? Somebody need to hurry up handle him. Even though he's supposed to be undercover, he's still a crooked DIA, CIA, whatever he is. He's still crooked, whatever he is. And he need to get handled. I guess Larry didn't get his hands on him good enough because he's still too cocky for me. But um, he was trying to go back and forth with Steven and trying to be all smart mouth with Steven. And when Steven spit those beans, they, uh, the reason that officers was looking at him funny was because they seen his little fun he was having with Larry Eddie her up back back like back down and her up got out of there cause he was embarrassed <laughs> that's what he get for being up in somebody's face trying to get him told why is Brad sitting out there on that porch looking like Randall he, he was sitting out there waiting on Marcy so he's saying, but he's sitting out there looking and acting like random. Random done rubbed off on him. Yeah, he out there looking like a stalker. But anyway, Mar Marcy was originally trying to tell Brad. But Brad kept running his mouth and she listened to what he had to say and, and she just fed on into it. But... It's gonna blow up in her face. What y'all tell me? What y'all think? Do you, um, how long y'all think it's gonna take for it to blow up in her face that she lied to him about Alex telling Randall that she was pregnant? Because we we all know she didn't. So I need y'all to comment below and tell me. Ian is a scary punk. He's scared of Larry and them. I, I think he gonna end up helping um Kelly. He know that she innocent. He know that she didn't do it. I don't know if he gonna end up because of his feelings for Marcy because he like Marcy so much. It's why he gonna help Kelly because y'all know he moving next door or if he gonna just become so close to friends with Lucian and all the people in the neighborhood when he move in and then he going to decide to help her or if Larry is going to do something to piss him off, you know, something really bad. Or if he going to find out something about Larry, his lifestyle, that's going to push him to help Kelly. Y'all tell me what y'all think he, that's going to happen. That's going to push Ian to help Kelly because I think he going to help her. Something's going to happen that he going to be her attorney. Maybe he going to see her, talk to her, Somebody is going, something's going to happen, but I can't wait to find out. Eddie is apologizing to Lucian. I never thought I would see it happen. He said he called a whole bunch of people, but with nobody sure but, but Lucian. So now he just feel like he indebted to Lucian and he, he had him pegged to be such a bad person. Now he feel like... <laughs> That's his, his his best friend. That's going to be his best friend. But why won't he tell... Why won't he tell um, Eddie where Andrew is? So, I think Andrew is being put into protective custody of some type. Or either he going to be made a, um agent. He either gonna be put into to the bureau like everybody else, but so maybe he is going. I think he may be being added to the bureau, or they got him undercover as something else in the town. Uh, you know, because Eddie had them. Uh, 
Alex had all them country hit people, so maybe they're going to have him undercover. But he keeps saying Un Uncle Rusty had him. I don't think us Uncle Rusty going to have him. I believe he going to, he went back to Andrew and he had him put and sent to the bureau as a good cop. I so hope so. I do not want Andrew to be dead. If they don't hurt him, tell me where Andrew is. I don't know. I'm ready to see. But anyway, I really do want to know. So, Larry is really realizing how really twisted and sick Randall, his ex-lover, is. And they flirting is just, ugh. Just, they so manly, like, ugh. Ain't, I can't. Because when he when he trying to get him to sign these papers, he just determined and he wants to stress Marcy out to the point that she has a miscarriage. Like he crazy. But Larry is just as dirty as random. And while he's talking about those were the lawsuit papers, I know he fixed them papers some kind of way that he tricked Randall into uh filing them divorce papers and I mean signing those divorce papers and because he called over and had E and her um process them. So I, I think he had those papers fixed where Randall signed them divorce papers some kind of way. Boy, when Randall find out he gonna be some kind of angry up inside. And I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be some terrible but anyway, so when he leaving Randall's house, <laughs> he get kidnapped by Eddie. He thought what he did to Eddie was funny. I cannot wait to see what all Eddie is going to do to Larry. Larry going to be missing in action. And maybe this is how Ian is going to end up helping Kelly. I can't wait to see. Because maybe since Larry going to be missing action, he going to be going and ain't going to be nobody to boss nobody around and he'll be able to help Kelly. Maybe that's how he'll help Kelly. Oh, I can't wait to see. I cannot wait to see. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, click on one of the videos that you have not seen, one of the previous reviews, and watch them and catch up. Watch any of the other reviews. I'll leave, leave a playlist of the reviews. And be sure to sub hit the subscribe button. Be sure to like, comment, share. Hit that notification button so you can see when I up update upload <laughs> more videos and i thank you guys for watching i cannot wait for the next episode okay see y'all later Bye.